all and welcome to DLD Theatre Presents Take a Bow. Tonight you will see five short pieces of theatre which we've been working on over the last term. The students have worked incredibly, incredibly hard and I'm very proud of them. So tonight you will see an inset from the Hillsborough disaster and looking at the tragedy that that was. You'll see two solo performances one dance piece and one monologue. The year 10s will be forming a Christmas home for us and finally Drama Club will be doing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I really, really hope you enjoy your evening and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and can you put your hands together for the year 10s. Hello everybody. Thank you for coming. Today we are saying a poem called Christmas time. Christmas time is finally here. It only comes but once a year. And it's time to spread good cheer. It's also a love and hold so dear. Christmas time is a time of glee, a time when peace and love run free, a time for those like you and me to see beneath the Christmas tree. Christmas time is time of joy, a time to sit back and enjoy the smile on each girl and boy as they play with the Christmas toy. The Christmas time is a time to share. <coughs> Passing of another year. Birth of Jesus, a joyful prayer. To show loved ones how much we care. Christmas time is a time for song. A time for us to get along. To make us feel Lord Jesus strong. Forgive all those who did us wrong. Christmas time is a time to pray. Put love and kindness on display. Show compassion along the way. Christmas time should be every day. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. I didn't know, of course, that it was near the time. It was Rogation Day, there was always a procession. I was on the horse, dressed in my robes, and a cross was carried out in front of me. And all of the cardinals were following, and the clergy of Rome, and a huge crowd of people. We set off from St. Peter's to go to St. John's. I had felt a slight pain earlier. I thought it was something that I'd eaten. And then it came back. And it came back more often. There were still long gaps where I felt perfectly all right and I didn't want to attract attention to myself spoil the ceremony. Then I suddenly realised what it must be. I had to last out till I could go home and hide. And something changed. My breath started to catch. I couldn't plan things properly anymore. <laughs> we were in a little street that goes between St. Clement's and the Colosseum. And I just had to get off the horse and sit down for a minute. <laughs> Great waves of pressure were going through my body. I heard sounds of a cow lowing. <laughs> they came out of my mouth. Far away, I heard people screaming, The Pope is ill! The Pope is dying!
to meet me each night, and they take me back to the terrible fight. I run towards him, and the last thing that she said to me is, I love you, and he just left me before I could say goodbye. I stood up to peer over the rows of seats, but I could not see anything. There was a concerned and frightful look on everyone's face, what I saw next to be hell in motion. This is a story of an ordinary boy named Charlie Bucket. He was not clever or faster than any other kid. His family was not rich or well connected. In fact, they barely have enough to eat. Charlie is the luckiest boy in the entire world. We just didn't know it yet. my competition winners. Piggy boy. Hi. I'm Augustus Club and I want this golden ticket because I eat 10 kilos of chocolate every day. And that is why he is obese. Betty? Hello, I'm Betty. I bought a chocolate bar yesterday and I want this golden ticket. Can you believe it? I want a golden ticket. <laughs> Here we go. I am a Ruka song. I want a golden ticket. So my daddy got me. A 
on my TV, I want this golden ticket. Obviously. I'm Charlie, Charlie Bucket, and I want a golden ticket. I want a golden ticket. If things like this don't happen to ordinary people like me, I'm going to the chocolate factory, everyone, and I want a golden ticket. Look, it's Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Welcome. So let us begin the tour. This. Is the chocolate fudge room? Ooh. Ooh. Well, we individually coat each little piece of fudge with our fine chocolate that we make here. This is the candy cane room. We individually Paint each little red stripe on the candy cane. This is the candy apple. We will get to the chocolate river when I say we get to the chocolate river. But I want to go to the chocolate river now. Do not interrupt me, and I will tell you when we get to the chocolate river. I really want to go there. You will go there. Chocolate. You cannot contaminate my chocolate, and you must be patient. Why do you have a chocolate river if you cannot bring your chocolate? Because it is to go into the chocolate bars, uh, not to be eaten I want to drink by from the piggy river. boys. No. no! Enough! Seems like yes. it. Better be Wi Fi then. Excuse me, Mr. Wonka. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to, to come to your amazing chocolate factory. I've, I've never seen anything like it before. Everything here is so beautiful, so, so fa fascinating. Charlie, if you're going, please do. Just a minute, I have some matters to attend to. Where's the chocolate river? I need the Wi Fi password. I want to see the service in the I've been waiting all what is morning. It? You! Let's go to the chocolate river! Oh, yes! Thank Fantastic! You. Finally. Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there are 
there are more than 3,000 of them in my factory. They are called Oompa Loompas. I liberated them from their awful country, Oompa Land. Very long time. There's no such place. I went to the best school in the entire country. My teacher would have told me about it. Is that so? Does that explain why they are I here? want one. They are not for but, sale. No, they are people and you cannot buy My daddy them. will buy one for me. No, he will not. Then I will get one for myself. I really wish you do. Really? When are we getting into your entertainment room? I promise our batteries. I need to charge it. Please do. Escort this fine young man to the entertainment room. Thank you. There is an umbrella number waiting outside to take you. I hate kids! I hate kids so much. Have you seen these children? Have you seen these children? Yeah, yeah, they're disgusting. Did you see that little fat piggy boy? Have you seen the size of him? I don't see that any of you are that size, do you? It's disgusting! He makes me sick. He makes me sick. Does it look like I have Wi Fi in here? Exactly. I mean, how? How could you not be excited? about the chocolate factory, for Christ's sake. They're children, everyone likes candy. And I'm not being, you know, it doesn't mean you have to be a beast, but how could you not want How could you not want They're fantastic little. I know they're fantastic. I made them. Yes! He turned into, into a little man. I, 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 I don't know what happened. He just turned into a little man. I don't have any children of my own, and I therefore have no one to pass on my factory to, and the others have been dealt with, and they are unsuitable in so many ways, but you, you are the chosen one. I knew since you first came here. Since you first walked in, I knew that you were the chosen one. You must, please, please, take my factory. Oh no, the factory is awesome, it's amazing, but, but I, cannot, I cannot stay here. I have to go back to my family. I promise them I'll be back before Christmas. And they could work for your fa family? Then maybe. Bring them. So, Charlie did bring his family to the factory. <coughs> we received an entire kingdom like that. But we got something more. We got a family. 